Hey guys, this is now on Amir to show you how you can jailbreak the new 3.1.3 firmware for your iPhone 2G, um, iPhone 3G, and iPod Touch 1st generation and iPod Touch 2nd generation. This will not work for any iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 2nd generation MC model, and iPod Touch 3rd generation. Also, if you are depending on an unlock, do not update and do not try this. So the first thing you need to do, guys, is to download the 3.1.2 firmware for your device. Yes, I, did, I said it right, guys. The 3.1.2 firmware for your device. All right, so once you have that saved on your desktop, you will need to install either um, RetSnow 0.9.2. Um, RetSnow 0.9.2 will jailbreak the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, and iPod Touch 1st generation. RetSnow 0.9.4 will jailbreak iPod Touch 2nd generation non-MC model. So I have an iPod Touch 2G right here, non-MC model. That's what I'm going to be jailbreak jailbreaking right now. And I'm going to show you how, how you guys can do it. Alright, so um, so this is what you, what you need to have on your desktop. Um, this is the 0 0.9.4 um, jailbreak, red snow. And my firmware, my 3.1.2 firmware, and a boot logo, a custom boot logo. You can also change your boot logo, guys, if you want. So, all right, so once you have that, double click on Red Snow and double click on that and launch redsnow.exe. And here's the jailbreak program. All right, so browse for the 3.1.2 firmware for your device. Double click on that. It's processing right now. Alright, so it's asking you if it's the MC model. Mine is not. So, no. If it's the MC model, guys, do not try this. So, continue next. Once you're on this page, you have to install Cydia for the jailbreak. You can also do custom boot logo, which I have right here. So just double click on that. And that's it. And click next. And next again. And you will need to hold the power button down. So hold the power button for three seconds. Hold the power and home button down for 10 seconds. And release the power and keep holding the home button down for 30 seconds. And it should do everything by itself, guys. It's that simple. And waiting for reboot. So just let it do its thing here, guys. And your jailbreak is done. This takes about five minutes at the most. I know Black Rain only takes less than a minute, but it's not bad. Alright, so the rest of the Jailbreak should take place on your device. And the iPod Touch should be jailbroken.
Got my custom boot logo, so that's pretty cool. There you have it guys, I am jailbroken currently on my iPod Touch 2nd generation running 3.1.3. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.